Okay, so Aaron Warner down here at Anytime Fitness in West Lebanon talking with Tracy Chikanowitz. Yep. That's how you say it? Yes. Okay, I can't spell it, but I can say it. All right, so um, Tracy, if you would please uh, tell us your age, where you're from, and what you do. I am 47 years old, going to be 48 next week. Um, I work at Belize Beauty Salon doing manicures, pedicures, reflexology, and Reiki. Okay. And um, did you say where you're from? Oh, I'm from Bethel, Vermont. Bethel, Vermont. Okay, cool. Thank you. So now, why did you decide to come down here and start training? I have been working out basically my entire life since I could walk, and I just felt like I was going through the motions. I show up, kind of do something, but nothing wholeheartedly, so I needed somebody to kick me in the butt and somebody to guide me and help me get stronger and better. Well, and you haven't just been working out. You were also a competitive skier. I've ski right? raced and snowshoed and triathlons, and but I, I showed up and I finished. Yeah. But I didn't push myself as a competitive one efficient finish in the top three. Okay. All right. Fair enough. And you also had a couple of concussions, is that right? Three diagnosed concussions. All right. And has that affected your training at all or working out? Does that? No. I think it's just more my mental. Well, sure. I mean, yeah, absolutely. It's um, I deal with them all the time with rugby players, and I mean, you kind of get to a point where you just got to stop doing some things. If, you know, you got to be really careful. So, but it's yeah. good to know that it hasn't really impacted you a whole lot. So, um, so we started training, and uh, what did you think about the kind of training that we're doing? I was very excited because it's things that I've never done. I've seen Aaron training people on the ropes and doing things, and I thought, oh, that could be fun, mm -hmm. but I didn't know how to do it myself. So I needed help. And so you were having some aches and pains. Um, tell me a little bit about some of your aches and pains. What was going on? Um, my left knee can hurt, throb, makes it hard to squat, run, do certain events. Um, upper body neck tension chronically. And that's from your work, actually, because you just yeah. are bent over working on people's hands and feet, so a lot of tension up there. Yes. What, um, how, how is that going now? It's better. I definitely have more flexibility. I go to yoga once a week usually, and I can reach further. I can, I'm getting close to be able to zip my own dress up from the back. I can't relate, but it sounds awesome. <laughs> it is. It's exciting. Yeah. Okay. The other thing that was really cool is you just had an outstanding improvement in your cardio score. You already were in the very good category, but it shot up like 18 points, which is massive because I, was, I would have been happy with 6 to 8. Yep. Um, so you did a lot of dedicated cardio. What did you notice from the cardio? Did you notice you had you felt better, you had more energy? Um, definitely I had had a pain in my chest previously and mm -hmm. I have no more pain or tension in my chest. Mm -hmm. I do feel like my recovery is better. Mm -hmm. um, when I go out and do my outdoor activities, I'm not as winded. Okay. Um, so what would you tell the other person out there similar to yourself? Neck and shoulder pain, um, Workouts might be a little bit boring, not fun to get into, or whatever. Uh, and they just—they're not sure if they want to do. Something. You got any advice for them? It's well worth investing the money in a personal trainer and Aaron. I've watched him for years, and he knows what he's doing. I've seen improvements with high school kids on sports teams, up to this 83-year-old guy that wanted to keep downhill skiing. Yeah. So I knew that he would help me. Um, and I get excited to come in every time I visit with him. What are we going to do this time? Because every time it's different. And having the videos on my phone to be able to do it at home has been very helpful. And the other thing that uh, we learned today is you admit, you know, life gets in the way. You've had some struggles here and there. But those struggles really didn't get in the way of you making progress. Is that right? Yeah, I had no idea until he reported the numbers. I figured, eh, I haven't really done much, but it. It's true. It's a little bit here and there does help, and then it gets you excited that I want to do it harder, I want to do it more often. There you go. All right. Well, Tracy, thanks for sharing your good news. I hope you have a happy Easter. Yes, you too. Thank you.